Hello, my name is Cheyenne Winter. I am an artist and this is my sketchbook. I'm really excited to share it with you. I've been working on it since September of last year and um, it's been quite a journey. There are some empty pages. There are some imperfect pages. There's a lot of imperfect pages and there's just like a lot of thinking going on in here. So let's jump in and take a look. First of all, this is a Strathmore 500 series sketchbook. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but these have a really soft cover and they really pick up texture from just like being in bags or like set on top of things. I'm quite fine with that. I'm, I'm quite fond of it to be honest, um, but you might not be and that's okay. So just a heads up. I didn't know that that was a thing before I got this and I was a little bit shocked when I sat it down on something and it picked up a line on it and then it just kept happening. These are stickers that were gifted to me here. They're Magnus Archive stickers. I'm sure they came off of Redbubble. I'm pretty sure I got them for Christmas. This, I believe, is a sticker that came with an order from Whiskey Rabbit, who I follow on TikTok, whose art I'm absolutely in love with. And I'm absolutely in love with this little sticker. I think it's so cute. Okay, let's take a look. And we have the first imperfect page right at the very beginning. I wanted to be really ambitious with this and like set a like intention <laughs> with the first page. Um, I wanted to do a colored pencil illustration. I haven't worked with colored pencils since I was in high school over 10 years ago while dual enrolled in college and I quickly found out that they are way too time intensive and fiddly and I just didn't have it in me. So I'm honestly quite chuffed about the fact that this is the way that it is because a sketchbook should be a place where you're allowed to start things and not finish them. <laughs> and I'm, I'm okay with the fact that that's how I treat my sketchbook. Same with this spread. I only have one thing and it is... <laughs> A, a plain air painting that I never finished because I was intimidated and I wasn't used to using gouache. This was maybe my second or third painting with gouache. Okay, this is more along the lines of what I expect my sketchbooks to be. These are pictures of people from Pinterest. I was really going through a mullet phase and I was also also going through it as you can tell. I was very tired. I was pretty depressed. This is like a big purple pencil and these are Crayola markers that I've used for the thicker parts. I'm pretty happy with how this sketch turned out. If I don't state otherwise, these are from Pinterest. I'm quite pleased with how this one turned out here, but I don't like the purple. I wish that I would have just left it alone. This one I love. I have a really, really hard time drawing profiles and necks, and I think that I was pretty successful with this one. This is when I started ketamine treatment for my chronic depression and was really feeling it. This is a little drawing of a get together that we had for New Year's. I love this little shitty little cat face. <laughs> I think this is the only time that I use graphite in this sketchbook. I'm not a very big graphite person um, in sketchbooks. I don't like the way they transfer. These are more of the Bic pen and Crayola marker. And this is like, I messed up because I can't draw profiles. Um, so I put a little sticky note over top of it. And that's a really good way to hide mistakes in a sketchbook without scribbling things out or ripping out pages. This is a little doodle I came up with for if I ever start a Patreon and I want to do postcard reward. Just a little, a little witch in a bog. And then it'll say something like, don't forget to clean your bong. your bong. I realized I never draw houses and I don't really know how and I don't understand perspective. So that's what I was doing here. This is by far my favorite spread in this sketchbook. It really upsets me that so many people never draw fat people as a fat person myself. And I was uncomfortable with how few fat people I had in my sketchbook up to this point. So I wanted to draw some you know, full bellies and some big thighs and some double chins because that's really important to me that I know how to do those things and also that 
people can look through this sketchbook and feel represented. Also, I accidentally drew this foot wrong and I didn't notice until this sketchbook was in a exhibition. <laughs> um, so that was embarrassing. This is one of those spreads that I just really am not fond of. I, I like these shoes. I never draw shoes because they're really hard for me. Clearly I need to do more of it, but everything else, eh, which is fine. This is one I got new gouache, as you can see. They are the Artex gouache. I think it was $10 for like 30 different things of paint, which is wild. I usually paint with Holbein gouache and those are like $30 for I think three or four like small tubes. So getting this much paint, even if it, it's chalkier and it doesn't layer as well, but just for sketchbook use, it's perfect and I love it. This is a page where I was doing the blob game with my sister, which is where one of us has to draw a shape, the blob, and then one of us has to go in and make something out of it. And this is a drawing of her legs as she's sitting on the couch. <laughs> I believe this is when I was getting ready for the exhibition that I was talking about and she was letting me stay at her house while I figured some stuff out. It was because this is from when I visited the college to figure that stuff out. Um, my exhibition was in the college gallery room that I had always dreamed of getting into and having my own show in and I was waiting to visit with my professor, my painting professor, and he invited me to hang out in the painting studio which I had missed dearly. It was my favorite room on the college campus when I was attending so I sat down and sketched while I waited and this is that big pen and then a couple of washes of watercolor. The sketchbook handles watercolor pretty well. There's not like a whole lot of warping despite using a lot of water and it handled the gouache really well. So, and then some little, some little sheep. This is one of my favorite spreads also. This nose got kind of messed up. I don't know what I was doing. Is it bleed through? It might be bleed through. This is when I was a couple of weeks into the ketamine therapy and I was starting to feel like a human being and I was wondering what if it is all worth it. I have a long history of mental health problems um, and I've been trying to find solutions since I was teen or 15 and I am now 29 as of today. Today's my birthday. So sometimes it's hard to remember this question and to try to live by this question and I was feeling it here and um, I think you can kind of tell by the amount of effort that I put into this spread. I was actually feeling okay. This is more of that. This is the same day. I had been on over 20 different types of medication before starting this bravado, so uh, what if 22 was my lucky number? It wasn't, but that's okay. I, I gave it the good college try. Um, this is a self-portrait from when I was subbing. I am a substitute teacher and um, I'm covering this because it's a little circle with Miss my last name, but this is pretty much how I look when I sub and I was quite pleased with the way that this turned out actually. I really love it. I love the way the skirt looks especially and the way that created this kind of oval shape here with the little skinny parts on top and bottom. This is one of those spreads that is weird to me. I was substitute teaching when I was working on this. There are like long swaths of the day where I don't have anything to do and I don't have any students or my students are just working on their computers and I'm literally just sitting there trying to like find something to do in between walking around the class so I usually bring my sketchbook. I really like the way that this this person right here I feel really good about. I feel like it has good weight. I have a hard time sometimes making people look like they are standing on their feet and this person looks like they are standing on their feet. It has weight and I love that. This is more subbing. I think this was during my lunch period and I was struggling. I had to stay awake. This is when I got into the Sleeping City podcast. This does not look Brennan at all, but this does look like Zach. His eyes are a little too close, but I like these. These are good. I drew these at like five o'clock in the morning, so they were not the best likeness. That was very sleepy, but I am pretty pleased with them overall. I also absolutely freaking love these. So this is me, and I never make simplified stylized art like this, and I was so impressed with myself 
when I made this happen. More of the same. This is a different day. Um, I saw, I think one of the students like left a note for the teacher and they had drawn a cat on it and it looked like this. So I copied it and then I made uh, it a little different, but I copied the style and then I did it the same style to draw my cat, Kaz. Um, I have two calicos in my house and they don't get along very well so we have to like shuffle them so that one of them has the upstairs and one of them has the downstairs just to like keep them less stressed. And I like to draw them together being angry because they're inky girls. I love the way the colors look a little strange on the camera. I love the way that this greenish yellow and this red pen look together and I want to just like wheat paste that onto my brain. I want my brain to look like this. Here I was visiting my friend Lavender, so I was just drawing things around their house, um, and this was, I couldn't sleep, so I was drawing my hand with different markers in different positions, and it looks kind of trippy, and I like it a lot. I also really like this color combination here. Um, <laughs> I also am quite proud of this vacuum. I've been practicing like breaking things down and making them look more like the things they're supposed to look like but more simplified and I think I did a good job there. This is one of those pages that um, I, I tried to make myself fill after I wasn't pleased with how some things turned out or some bleed through and it just isn't gonna happen but I do really love how this person turned out. I love noses that are shaped like this and I love when um, lips have that kind of like intense J curve. I think that is so attractive and you can tell because I draw it a lot. <laughs> this is another one of those pages or spreads that I meant to come back in and fill in and it just wasn't gonna happen. This is where I tried to use alcohol markers uh, for the first time to like draw something that wasn't like leaves or flowers or something. Um, they're brand new to me. I have very, very little experience with alcohol markers and I just, um, I didn't like it. So I covered it up with a, a label, a label sticker, two label stickers, and then I just drew on top of it with pen and I still don't love it, but it's not a muddy mess like it was, so that's okay. This is when I was practicing perspective in different ways than I ever had before. I think this is uh, like four, four point, five point perspective. So we've officially made it to this year and clearly I was feeling some feelings. I love this old dude. Like I love this old dude. I just think <laughs> I was really on a drawing mustaches kick. Um, and I really love the way this guy turned out. And, no. Yes. I love this page. Just let me put it in the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love this page so much. I, like the drawings aren't perfect by any means, but I was really pleased with just like the general composition. I filled the whole thing. I really struggle with filling pages in my sketchbooks like this. Other people do it and I love it. I have a hard time with it. Once I put one person on the page, I struggle to feel confident enough to put more, especially if I like it okay. And yeah, I don't love this one as much as I do this one, but I love the overall effect and that's what's more important. Also, I was going through a Legend of Zelda phase because Tears of the Kingdom came out and I just love this little guy. I love the way he turned out. He's so cute. I was thinking of doing a repeating pattern design with weapons and objects from Tears of the Kingdom, but I didn't end up doing it. I might revisit that. I'm very pleased with how both of these turned out. I think they look really good, especially this one. I think I got the likeness really well. This is someone that I found on TikTok. Their handle is Lady Theo. I just, I, every single time I see them, I want to draw them, so I did. This is maybe a little hard to see, but this is, I got one of those rainbow pencils. I was listening to the last book in the Dreamers trilogy by Maggie Stiefvater, which the original series, The Raven Cycle, is my bread and butter, my life's blood, my golden baby, 
if anyone asks me what the love of my life is in book form, it is that book series. And this is a spin-off series about one of the main characters. And in it, he creates these dogs that are like made of fire or have the essence of fire. <laughs> I don't really know how to explain it. And they can be recalled by opening a bottle of liquid and they can be kept in that bottle of liquid. Um, so I was kind of imagining what those would look like and I came up with this. More struggling with profiles and um, <laughs> a note from my sister. I really like the way this face looks. And then this is gouache and watercolor and that rainbow pencil. I used it for the line work too. And I really love how that turned out. This is when I was on vacation. And then I also um, went to an art store and got a red brush pen that I was really excited to use. And the anatomy, hmm, we won't talk about it, but I was really pleased with the way that turned out. Anyway, just because it was it's different than what I normally do. The lines are all crazy. This is when I got my full set of alcohol markers from Ohuhu. I actually have a sleep disorder and I ordered the like 200 something set in my sleep and my partner called me and told me when I was on this vacation that a huge box had come labeled Ohuhu and so I had I kind of pissed my pants a little because I was like I'm never gonna financially recover from this but um I love them I think they're really fun I was really inspired by I think their handle is gel arts um they were doing really cute little bug illustrations where they had kind of googly eyes and i wanted to try so i did and um don't love it for me personally for them love it for me no and that's okay this is a linoleum print that i made um i've never actually gone through and finished it so that it's like clean and ready to print but someday i will and then i really like the way this turned out the I struggle with this spacing here like the the eyebrow to nose especially when I want a little bit of a bump but I also want the eyelid to show in the back and it does look like her eyes are a little too close together or like this one is protruding a little more than this one but overall I think I did a good job with it and I'm I'm perfectly happy with it this was when I was substitute teaching also. I hate this drawing. I do, I think I pulled it, uh, the reference from the Atlas of Beauty, the book that I got a long, long time ago, um, which is one of my favorite places to find references for sketching. And I just wish it wasn't so big. I didn't finish the hair. I didn't like add more detail. So it just feels like ugh, jump scare, um, <laughs> uh, which is fine. It's a sketchbook. Who cares? I do really love this though. I think it's cute. Also, I don't know what the hell possessed me to draw this. This is not what I do. This is not what my art looks like. I'm not mad about it, but it's just weird. Where did that come from? I have no clue. I think this is the last fully done sketch in the sketchbook. I really love how it turned out. I, I'm just really pleased with that. I have a hard time drawing glasses and I have a hard time drawing lips that look like the way that the reference does. So I'm really, really pleased with this. And also I clearly, you can tell I'm starting to get really into plants throughout the sketchbook. And this is when I got really into alocasias um, and they were all I could think about. So there was supposed to be more, I lost interest. This is before I got ADHD medication. <laughs> and then um, that's that's pretty much it. This is this is from when I taught a paint and sip lesson and I was trying to show someone like things that are darker come forward, things that are lighter go backwards. <laughs> and that's it. And then a message from my sister. She usually leaves something in my sketchbook if I hang out with her and I love her handwriting. It's really similar to the way that I write. Sometimes uh, we'll find each other's notes and not be able to tell who wrote it and I love that very much. And that's it. This is um, probably the stickers that I got from Whiskey Rabbit that got me this sticker. So that's it.
I hope you enjoyed this sketchbook. I certainly enjoyed working in it. It isn't a perfect sketchbook. It isn't perfectly put together. It isn't finished. It isn't every page is not a beautiful piece of art. There's not a lot of like finished things in here. There's nothing in here that I would like to make a print or make a sticker or whatever. And that is perfectly okay. I know there's a lot of pressure on artists to have like sketchbooks that are social media ready, that they can film in videos like this and blow up on YouTube. And that's not a realistic goal for everybody. Sometimes we just need something that we can be emo in. <laughs> Sometimes we just need something where we can have ideas or try new things and um, look at different colors and pastime and that's okay. That's normal. That's what sketchbooks are for. I hope that if you haven't been working in your sketchbook, this helps you get back into it. If you've never started a sketchbook because you're too scared, I hope this is your reason to start. And if you've been wanting to try out the Strathmore sketchbook, I highly recommend it. I think it handles a lot of different things really well. It has a nice texture. It's very soft. The paper has just enough tooth that it feels good to work in it in different mediums without it getting all bumpy and weird. And overall, I really like it. And I bought another one and I'm excited to show you some work in it and show you it when it's done. I hope you have a nice day. I hope you drink some water. Water your plants. Okay, bye.